hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be showing you guys everything about my hair pretty much i've been getting so many questions about my hair so i finally have this in-depth detailed video showing you guys how i get this hair bone straight how i lay my frontal how i do my baby hairs and all of that good stuff so starting off first of all this hair is from Yuna's hair and this is the brazilian body wave 18 22 24 and 26 inches i'm also wearing a 16 inch frontal i did sew this onto a wig cap and yeah so i'm just gonna start off and show you guys how i get the hair bone straight so as you guys can see, the hair is in its natural state. This is the first time I ever straighten the hair. So every time I straighten my hair, I don't always do this method. I only do this if this is the first time I'm straightening the hair and the hair is already curly or wavy. So the method I do to get the hair bone straight is called the chase method, which is basically just taking a tail comb or a fine tooth comb putting it on the piece of hair that you're straightening it and you basically put it in front of the straightener and then you chase the comb with the straightener and i find that this always works to get hair super bone straight like i mean you can use the straightener and slowly bring it down the piece of hair but i always find myself going back in with the tail comb anyway so i just do it um in the first place also I do not recommend trying to get hair bone straight or doing this method if you're in a rush because if the hair is wavy or curly you literally have to go through every single piece of hair and you can't do that if you're on a time limit. So for me personally, um, to kill time, I like to either listen to some music, watch some shows, some Netflix, catch up on any shows I've been watching or even just catch up on some YouTube channels that I've been missing out on. So now I'm at the front of the hair where the frontal is and I'm going to continue to do the chase method. One thing I will say that I've noticed with this hair, the frontal does tangle. Not a lot, but it tangles more than the bundles. I'm not sure why that is, but and I don't know if that's for everybody, but personally, I with my experience with this hair from Eunice hair, the bundles were fine. They didn't really tangle that much. They didn't mat up or anything, but the frontal I did find that it would tangle sometime. An important step that I found that working with my first frontal is taking a curling iron and smoothing it over the roots of the frontal and this is going to help ensure that the frontal lays as flat as possible because you don't want like the the bumpy look. You guys know what I'm talking about. That wiggish bumpy look. You want that shit to be looking like it's growing out of your scalp. So you want that shit to lay flat. You can also use the clothing iron or whatever, or you can just use the curling wand. And yeah, it also helps get rid of the little flyaways and stuff like that. So now that our hair is nice and bone straight, I'm gonna move on to styling. And I decided to cut some layers. I don't know, I was just feeling for some side bangs. It's been a while since I've had like layered side bangs. So I took some regular scissors, which I don't recommend doing. Which is why as you can see now i'm going in with the razor which is so much better because you don't get that blunt cut and i'm literally just playing around on god i did not know exactly what i was doing like i knew what i was doing but like that's why you got to start off small and i didn't start off chopping off a lot because i didn't want to have to like it's better to have to go back in and cut off more than cut off too much and then you're like shit like you know so but anyways, so now I'm going into the bangs and I'm parting it, starting off with really small sections and cleaning up the layers I was doing and then going in and straightening it so I can see how it looks and clean up anything I missed and really define the layers and all that good stuff. Also, sectioning off the bangs and cleaning it up and then going in and straightening it makes it so much easier to give it the shape that you want and it just makes everything fall nicely. One thing I forgot to mention about this hair is that it does shed. It doesn't tangle that much. Tangling, I don't really have an issue with, but it sheds. Like, it sheds. But the hair is bomb. But it sheds. Just so you guys know. Because I know a lot of people are really big on shedding. Personally, I don't really like shedding. But the hair, I still like the hair. But, yeah. So, as I was getting closer to the top, I noticed that... The bangs were still actually a little bit too long at the front for me. So as you can see, I'm going back in, cleaning it up, and chopping off some more hair. And yeah, 
it's looking good brushing it out to see if I'm liking the bangs and I actually think I did a pretty good job so I was happy now we're gonna move on to laying the lace so I'm actually going in and cutting off some more of the extra lace because as you guys know this is my first frontal I've been wearing this frontal for about a month now but your girl is still learning so I'm still going back in and doing more baby hairs every time I put this wig on and cutting off more and more lace just you know like I'm learning to customize it to my liking and getting it to look more and more natural every day so as you can see I actually had a lot of lace to still cut off so I'm happy that when I was filming this I could actually have more lace to cut off so I can actually show you guys how to do it and I learned that you don't want to have any more extra lace other than where it would be laying on your hairline anything more extra than that would be obvious and it would just look very unnatural i'm going in across my hairline and my edges and all that stuff cleaning it up just be careful not to cut any of your own hair be very careful <laughs> so now that i think i cut off as much lace as i needed to i'm gonna go to the very front of the lace and you just want to part like a very very tiny section And I'm going to be doing some tweezing and some cutting. I'm going to cut after I tweeze though. So I like to pin the hair back just so you don't cut and tweeze anything that you don't want to be tweezing. And I'm going to go ahead and tweeze that part because you want it to look as natural as possible. And if you really take in like if you part your hair, you have a good amount of space there. It's not a lot of hair there. And I found that the more that you tweeze and play around with it, the more natural it looks you see like i've been wearing this frontal for almost a month and i'm still like you know learning and still tweezing and stuff like that so it, it's a process i will definitely say that but i'm happy that like i can't believe i actually you know like look at this hairline guys like i know it's not perfect and i can't really be saying like what frontal yet but it's a start because i did not know how to do this before so i'm just really happy i'm really proud of myself anyways so I'm going to be tweezing some more of the hairline. Just, you know, part through the hair and play around and see how it looks. You, you're always going to find yourself going back and tweezing and cutting some more. And that's okay. So now I'm going to the front of the hairline. And I'm going to be tweezing, as you can see, some more. Anywhere where you see it looks like a lot of hair. Because once you um, cut those hairs and layer them to like get the baby hairs, the more hair you have, it gets thicker when you cut it. So you're going to find yourself going back in and tweezing out more strands from the baby hairs that you cut. And if you notice your own baby hairs, you would notice that they're not that thick and it's not a lot of it. Because when you sweep the baby hairs back, you want it to, as you can see, you want to see through it. I don't know if that sounds weird, but you don't, you see when I just swept that one and it's like, it looks very thick and unnatural which is why i went in and plucked out some more and cut some more off you also want to make sure you're not making the baby hairs too long because naturally baby hairs are baby hairs they're not grown hairs so they should not be too long i definitely do still need a lot of practice and improvement as i said before which is okay because it's a process because um, if you guys can see right where the baby hairs are by my edges, there's a little bit of black there, which is hair dye that I got on the lace. So obviously the next time I bleach my frontal and go over the pieces that were over bleached that got onto the hair, I'm just going to be more careful and make sure I don't get any hair dye onto the lace. But other than that, it's okay because honestly when I do the baby hairs, you don't really see the hair dye. So it's okay. Like I'm not super you know anal about it i think it would have been smarter for me to lay the lace down first instead of doing the baby hairs but it's all right so i'm gonna go in with the got to be glued spiking glue gel and i'm gonna put that on the edge of the lace not on the edge of the lace sorry on my forehead where the edge of the lace would lay However, after seeing the comments on my last video about my frontal, a lot of you guys were telling me that I bought the wrong glue because this one leaves the white residue, which I completely agree. And I wish I bought the black one, but I kept seeing this one in a lot of videos, which is why I bought the yellow one. But I feel like if I bought the black one instead, the results would have been so much better and looked so much more natural because I don't know if you guys can see, but like those little 
parts where it's like nude looking white looking wouldn't be there if i bought the black one so that's the only downside i would say from that but i think pretty much like i think i think it looks pretty good if you ask me so i don't know i'm just excited because i finally learned the basics of how to slay a frontal all i have to do now is get the right products and stuff like that and it'll be looking like super seamless but Another tip I learned when trying to customize the baby hair, sometimes when you're sweeping it in with the gel, you see how I just swept that piece and it looks very thick? I start brushing it into the actual hair and not the baby hairs, and it basically separates the grown ass hairs, excuse my language, from the baby hairs. And see, I just tied it down for like 10 minutes. As y'all can see, I was pretty excited when I took off that head tie because I was just like, yes, like this is the most natural I've ever made the baby hairs. I was just, I was here for it. So if you guys look closely, those little like crusty white pieces is from the yellow got to be glued gel, which I wish I didn't buy. I wish I bought the black one. But as I said before, you gotta start somewhere and sis. Get into these bangs, get into this frontal. I was feeling my hair, guys, so just excuse me for a second. But I really, really hope this video was helpful. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.